and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more starfield and i want to show you guys what i've been up to it's been mostly farming and me grinding racehorses and stuff that like that me setting up like outposts and stuff like that so what am i doing right now well i'm gonna show you so there's a way to get xp on this game you gotta go into there here and then you've got to make isolator magnets you can make a hundred of them you can get 99 XP. Now, the issue here is I just set up this farm for cobalt for nickel. The issue is I haven't let it build up for a while, so. Supposedly, there's other ways to get XP faster. Uh, supposedly. Supposedly, there's a glitch in Starfield for. Uh, getting credits or getting XP. I prefer not to do glitches. From my experience with glitches in the past where people were found using those, their games end up corrupting, and I'd rather not have my game corrupt. I'd rather do things the legit way. So by doing it the legit way like this, where you're farming the materials, the game's registering that you got this stuff, and then when you ever turn it into or sell it, it keeps a log of what you sold, or how you got it, and what is and what isn't no more. And this way the game's not sitting there going, how the hell did you get 200,000 credits, you know? Or how the hell did you level up to 108? <laughs> you know, you'll start experiencing like memory leaks and crap like that, which is not good. <laughs> Causes your game to crash and, you know, yeah, no. Uh, so, one of the most annoying things in this game so far it's going to be the companions, in my opinion. So my lovely companion down there is trying to figure out where the hell I just went. Where did you go? Uh, will not shut up, quite literally. <laughs> so I was in the middle of combat, right? And I'm over encumbered because I want everything. I want every single little weapon or space suit so I could sell it from credits and the character goes hey i need to talk to you and i'm like i'm in the middle of shooting something that's trying to kill me this is not a good time to talk stop it and literally as you go to click a computer console oh it's time to talk and yes you have the option to not talk to the npc tab out of it but they'll keep saying, hey, I need to talk to you. Hey, I need to talk to you. It gets kind of annoying. <laughs> it's worse than Fallout 4. Fallout 4, the NPCs of um, Nick Valentine or, uh, oh, God, what is that newspaper reporter from the uh, Fallout 4? Amber or something like that? Would always get in the damn way when you're trying to, you know, do combat or you're trying to do something you don't always bump and get in the damn way now these NPCs do that once in a while but for the most part all I hear is wah 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 we need to talk wah wah <laughs> and I'm like looking to see how everyone else is playing the game and I've seen them playing the game without NPCs and I now see why <laughs> or the companions if you want to call them that um, so I ran into two game-breaking bugs. One was during a main quest where you have to wait for the NPC to go to a certain po from point A to point B kind of situation. And it literally stopped on a catwalk and looked at the wall like, hey, there's a bug on the wall. There's a scratch on the wall. It's so interesting. It literally got stuck. And I couldn't do anything. And we're stuck on like a space station or something like that. And it was one of those quests where I couldn't back out of it. So I had to go back to my last save and catch up to where we left off. And that's why we're talking now. Because I finally, you know, it took me only like three days to catch up to where I was before. For some reason, the saves didn't save that far back. So I ended up having to replay. There is, we already played played of me showing the gameplay from up to that point. It was really annoying, by the way. Uh, and then I ran into another game-breaking bug. So what was the other game-breaking bug? 
So if my inventory goes over a thousand carry weight, sometimes when I sell off the stuff or put it back into cargo containers, it'll get stuck. Where I'll say there's a thousand or two hundred inventory space, but there's nothing in there other than 67 carry weight when it's trying to say that there's 271. So yes, this game is buggy. Is uh, very buggy, okay? Uh, like, and the weird part is, when the game launched, it was fine. I started noticing the game starting to be very buggy, like, four or five days later. It is very strange. But yeah, I, I'm, I've got to unload this ship before I can do some side questing, so let's do that. Um, I'm going to go to my other outpost over here. I'm going to see if there's anything over there i got to grab. Then I'll go to my iron outpost, see if i got to grab anything over there. And then we'll head back to the main base. It looks like it's time to upgrade this a little bit. I'm right here. I have the supplies. I'm also just do it, right? I don't like what that one is. What do you mean I can't place it there? I want to place it there. Fine. Let's move it. Let's put this here so I'll place these like out here out the way so I needed lead and I didn't feel like going and buying it from the store because it you know you gotta load in loading screens it's like eh meh so I end up just setting up a lead mine Eventually, I'll redo my lead, like my uh, farms, like outpost farms. But for now, this works. That's what matters. I also got to keep an eye on how much supplies I have. If you get too much, you know, the same problem with Fallout 4 and some other games. If you got too much of some stuff, Sometimes your games will start corrupting, so I do have to keep an eye on that. Try to keep like 2,000 or 3,000 of each item. Alright, so why are we farming? It looks like we're farming lead. Let me just double check. Yep, I have a deposit right there. We got the lovely bug right there. It says there's Tungus here, but I don't see any. I didn't even realize that you could upgrade the containers. I was thinking, okay, these numbers next to the boxes are going to be... I can only have three boxes on the plant. No, you can literally press C. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. Definitely going to want to put one of these in here. 
Anyways, you can press T and upgrade these once you have the thing unlocked. Alright, it's gonna be like that. So I'll just build on top. some of this lead. So go into here, press this, then go over to your cargo hold, and go to your inventory, and then just do that, and it fills up your cargo ship. Which is, looks like it's time for me to empty my cargo ship, because as you can see, it's almost full. Huh. Alright. And there's another lovely th one of those bugs. So this is the landing pug bug, and yeah, sometimes you'll spot underneath. Isn't it lovely? So right now there's a contract to fill this for bean benzene or something like that. I gotta get 500 for benzene and then ship it out. So that's why that ship's just kind of standing there. Uh, that's where the iron comes in from the other outpost. Gets transferred over to those containers over there. And it seems to be broken. <laughs> Figures, right? Anyways, it comes out of the um, iron facility and comes in here. see how things are going over here I'm gonna go make a cobalt storage here in a second so I think this this one's aluminum yes this one's iron so let me go there here here dear lord that's a lot of iron It would seem it's time to build some more storage. Ah, the CO2 level.
some pretty boring stuff, basically. You guys would be more interested in me doing like action and not farming. Somebody like farming, like me playing Rust and things like that, but yeah, I've been mostly doing this, kind of reorganizing. Uh, that's not the one I want. I want this one over here. Adaptive frames. Yes, please. Start making these. Alrighty. So, I need to make a cobalt storage. So I'll just make another line of containers right here. Dang it. Another thing I'm not liking with this game right now is there's no way to straighten things out, like putting a 90 or 180 degree. You quite literally just have to sit there and pray that you get in the right position, basically. Pretty much. Missing resources? No, the adaptive frames? No. Here, Shit resources. Do. So, yep, yep, mostly I'm just sorting stuff right now, trying to make sure I have plenty of a little bit of everything. So the stuff that gets used the most will be the stuff that's sorted. The stuff that does not get used the most does not get sorted at all, basically. Uh, these are basically just dump chests right here, for those that are questioning, what the hell are these then? And they're just dump chests, where I can dump stuff in them. About to get kind of heavy here. What do I want to make this one? I am going to need a blood container. And this one will just be a mixture. So now you can see my struggle, trying to organize all this, and it's just straight, just, nope. Need to get me more titanium, it's becoming a problem. guess after I unload that ship I can uh, what's that word after I unload that ship I can go ahead and look for a titan oh well, I don't have enough levels for that right now 
for the uh, titanium thing. So you do need to upgrade a certain skill point in order to see titanium on planets, apparently. So if you guys are wondering, hmm, how do you find titanium on planets? You need to go over to your skill perks here. And you need to get level two at least on here. And this will help you find rare resources on planets. So if you don't have this at all, all you'll be able to see is nickel, water, and lead. If you get the number two rank on this, you can start seeing cobalt and other resources that you couldn't previously see on those planets. If you get the number three thing, it allows you to see even rarer and more exotic resources, stuff that's even harder to find and get. And you can actually put a, uh, a miner on there and it'll mine it for you. So yeah, it's definitely important to get this if you're going to be doing outpost building and making stuff to make credits equaling money or XP. Just so everyone's on the same page of why I'm getting this and why it's important. Uh, it's also important to get this. This is going to help with researching and it's going to make it cost less when you go to build projects. It's important to get this because this right here allows you to increase your weapon damage and stuff like that, like weapons mods. Important to get this. This is how you get your outposts put down. Uh, over here, this is a big thing for lock picking. Like I started looking around, realizing they're expert locks, and I can't unlock them. I'm like, okay, there's got to be a skill for this to unlock, and there it is. Uh, payload allows you to increase how much cargo you can have on your ship. Basically, increases the cargo uh, modules. Uh, targeting control allows you to unlock targeting features on your ship and it also helps with combat. Uh, piloting, uh, I need to get this to all the way up to number four. So there's class A, B, C, and D for ships. And I can only drive like type B ships right now. And type uh, A and C are the ones now. I can only drive type A ships right now. Uh, B and C are like the really big ships, and I want a really big ship at some point, so I gotta unlock these two. Uh, you get the ballistic weapon, so yeah, all these in here are very important to get to, from what I can tell. Uh, surveying. I'll probably get this at some point too. I haven't decided on the rest of them yet, though. Um, combat. Ballistic weapons do more damage. Might bump this up some more. I bump that up some more and that's more. Okay, anyways, let's unload the ship and maybe in the next video we'll go and questing. But you just kind of see I've got to unload that, which is full of resources, and I've got to wait for adaptive frames. So if I can find my workbench, I'll go make me some more adapted frames. Hope that's not the workbench I'm looking for. Uh, where'd you go? Ah, there you are. No, it's mine. The NPC is like, hey, will you be making something for me too? No, this is mine. It's going. So I'm going to go ahead and organize this. You guys go ahead and watch if you would like to. If not, then if I'm not able to squeeze in a side quest here, then I'll see you guys in the next video. But anyways, let's get into it.
everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know.
Now would be a good time to replay our attack. What we bring with us and what we leave behind. Or something. while we escort you in. What the hell? As far as I know, there's no contraband of it, man. Huh, this should be interesting. Six point five and the hell did they take?
All right, I'm gonna go back to here, and I'm gonna check my cargo hold. I don't think I had any contraband on there, but I'm gonna go double check. That was some bullshit. I'm gonna guess it was part of the shipbuilder, where maybe it was part where then I put the modules in. Maybe it came with it. Who knows? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go look now. I'm paranoid. I'm not overweight with crap. Oh man, I still gotta empty the ship. As far as I know, the ship is empty. Kind of annoying when you find out. Oh, you're a car car carrying counterman. What? what? You might wish to. business. Okay, those can go back on. One is less likely to survive an ambush when one is weighed down with whatever all that is. I want to take a look at my ship and see if there's anything in there that I should be worried about. I don't think there should be any contraband in there, but 
let's look. Let's just make sure. No, that doesn't have shield and cargo base. Maybe that's the thing. As you can see, you have the other ship glitch that happens here. They really need to come out with a bug patch to address all this. It breaks a bird. I'll change ships. Let's see what happens. All that crap just went into my inventory, probably. No. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. I do not wish to judge, but I doubt you truly need to be carrying all of that. buy stuff anyways so I'll show you guys where I go to buy stuff some people know of it some people don't so I couldn't take it anymore with too many NPC big NPCs on the ship anymore it kept getting in the way of me trying to get to the cockpit so I just got Move them, per se. Oh, definitely keeping that. Oh no, the container's full. No. heavy side here. Alright. Let's go sell this stuff off. So I have not found any other decent places to sell stuff other than the place we're going now. It has more shops in it. Which is going to be Jameson. And if I can click on the planet, I have not found any good places to sell other than here. And there's a lot of places here. You have contraband. Uh, requires scanning. What do you mean contraband? Alright, I clearly need to take a look inside the ship here.
character is just going, I see some shit. Ah! That would do it right there, stolen art. Okay. Anything else I should be worried about? sell off the stolen art. So, when you're running into the situation of having, like, contraband, you can't go there. You can go there if you have a shielded cargo container. I have a shielded cargo container, but I can't currently put it in the cargo because it's too full, so... I'm gonna have to go over here. And we're gonna go right here to the den. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. You got anything you need to offer? Funny in here. Trade authority. I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. May I be Based on what I see, I, I find that very hard. I hope we you need. Surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space, but it's just so quiet. Time to wait. in New Atlantis. Mind putting in a good word for me? I don't think my messages to SSN are getting through. How may the trade authority... Yes, of course.
Good to see you. Yes, of course. new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. By the way, I removed that NPC and the dad that goes with it, and yet she's still on the damn ship. He's at the outpost. I tried removing the NPC that just talked off the ship, and it's still there. It's driving me crazy. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, welcome to UC Distribution. Some. Oh, well, sir.
You're always welcome back. a bit of a wait. You have my attention. If I can take a few things. Until next time. Welcome to UC Distribution. Yes. Back to it, then. Limited resources. We're no reliant. Can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome. Yep, you got. It.
Take care. Something to report? If there's something you need, no matter, be my guest. If you need anything else, you know where to find us. Cow for a cup of coffee. Happy to meet you. You ask me, the real new Atlantis. Absolutely. Hey, take it easy. Never, no shortage of hungry mouths. All righty. It's nice to see a fresh face around. Thankful these rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with many people I do not know. Hello, and thanks for choosing Terra Brew. I keep telling you. Certainly. Please. I should be managing. Well... If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Hope you're finding everything you need. Oh, please, take a look. Please, take...
Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. There's a bit more in the back. Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for coming in. There may not be life here, but we should still be cautious.
Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you later.